the emperor. Has sent to you the solitary one, his wretched subject, an evanescent shadow that fled far, far from the imperial sun. Just to you, he has sent forth from his deathbed. A message. He bade the messenger kneel down by his bed and whispered the message into his ear. So great was his attachment to it that he asked him to say it again into his ear. And before the assembled spectators of his death, all the blocking walls are torn down, and on the wide, soaring stairways, the notables of the empire stand in a ring. Before all these, he dispatched the messenger. At once, the messenger set out on his way. through the crowd. Whenever he meets with resistance, he points to his breast, which has upon it the sign of the sun. easily like no other but the crowd is so vast the dwellings are unending Stretch out 
before him. How he would fly. And surely you would soon hear the splendid pounding of his fists upon your door. Instead of this, how uselessly he toils. He is still forcing his way through the chambers of the innermost palace. second and closing outer palace, and again stairways and courtyards, and again a palace, and so on through thousands of years. And if he finally tumbled from the outermost gate, Before him still lies the royal capital, overflowing with its sediment. Nobody can press through here. Least of all with a message from a dead man. Dream the message. 
message. When evening comes. Thank you.